What's up everybody, now we are in MATLAB Okay Now we are going to talk about the MATLAB code a little bit And these are the four parameters for matrices Okay, that parameterize our system Right And this can be, let's say, stability derivatives or something like that for aerospace control You know, subject I'm referring to that And you can store them in paramstract Right Just to have a, you know, clean code or something And here You can use this given, you know, tested parameter values. All right, this is an example. All right, uh, or or maybe you like to have other parameter matrices to have some another nonlinear dynamical system with other properties. Okay, mm, and then yeah, we have talked about that. So this is the cost function. Okay, x dot equals f of x u, right? So f1, f2, f3, we have three states, and we are going to tune x and u values to make f1, f2, and f3 resulting numbers as close to, you know, as small as possible or as. Mm, all the absolute values of that, absolute values of f1, absolute values of, of value of f2, f3, etc. Right? We want them to be zero or really close to zero. Okay. To have a op, to have a steady state, you know, state values. All right. And this is our initial point since we have three states and two input signals. Right x equilibrium and u equilibrium is you know starting point all right let's look at the cost function you can find this okay at the end of this script here parameters just recover the parameters and five values first three states and last two input signals dynamical I guess evolution of the you know states are g given in that function, and just the cost function given, you know, by taking the norm of it because we don't have any input or output constraints, additional constraints, right? Okay. If we had, it wouldn't change anything. It we would need to you know implement one or two additional lines of codes. Okay, all right. Okay, maybe we could do something like this. For example, absolute value of u1 minus 5, all right? We want u1 to be close to 5 and Maybe, maybe y2 and y2 is given for our imaginary imagine system as x, x2 square, right? Maybe y2 is this, okay? And we want it to be close to, you know, 15, for example. And don't forget to take the, you know, absolute value of it. Okay, and two norm. Okay, we could do something like this if we had addition of input and output, and this is like maybe what you need to, you know, express y2 as x and parameterized by x and u, right? Okay, so that was a small side note okay so let's clean that let's define those variables right let's store them in param struct and let's yeah yeah what is it you need to do something like this okay just control enter just run this script because yeah, 
some multi operated issue because we define that cost function at the bottom of the script rather than uh, here you know there there is no cost one dot m right why we saved okay it's defined at the bottom of the script okay and here this is f y is our cost and we want this cost to be close to zero okay and this is like really close to zero and that's a good sign and this z first three first three state rated equivalent points and last two you know numbers indicate u1 equivalent and u2 equivalent right okay so I'll just recover them right and here do that so here we have clean wars command and accept them in that form clean everything except those variables right okay it, it may come handy sometimes right so define them symbolically right x1 x2 x3 and u1 u2 and by the way you can you like to use real because we know them we know those variables to be real because sometimes symbolically it can consider them as like imaginary by default right and the resulting terms that you have might be more complicated right than needs to be okay here define x and u right symbolically here just that and maybe we can take a look at the f1 f f1 f2 and f3 right okay and it's a really complicated expression but i mean still though it's a really simple expression because i mean it's like three lines of code right so in real systems or a for for um, aircraft dynamics for example I mean you have no idea like 10 pages long maybe maybe more than that right real systems may have that type of complicated and long dynamical you know expressions okay just have that right just let's obtain Jacobian right here but we need to substitute x equilibrium and u is there u no there is no u here u equilibrium point right and by using subs, substitute command of matra okay here this expression this is a symbol expression and th this expression has those terms as variables right and this is for example this is a number and this is a number right so whenever you have x1 just substitute that number whenever you have x2 substitute that number right Th that, that type of you know logic and as a result of that our a state matrix is this okay and since yeah our b matrix again same logic right b matrix is this right okay and then again you can just look at the a and b matrix and c matrix we define it to be like that and also d matrix right we define that in the problem right okay we could have chosen another output you know variation maybe non-linear for example this is linear you could have written uh, you know non-linear output terms as well and look at the controllability and since we have three states and control rank of controllability matrix is three means in case that it's a control system and here observables and this is observable rank of the observability matrix that's you know composed of a and c matrices and it's three and the state number of states we have is three as well right so okay we concluded that is controllable and observable okay and we can just use an ss command we can create the state space representation of our dynamic linearized plant right z p z p k right zero pole and constant here this is two by two to input to output right okay here output matrix is this right x1 and x2 are y1 and y2 okay right just maybe you like to look at the zeros and 
we select empty right and it's a good sign and this is the important point here is that you like to look at if you have any poles and zeros on j omega axis because that will complicate that will create some complications on control design right okay so here we talk about that this is make weight right here gain one in low frequency and three radian per second in three in frequency domain the gain is 0.1 and then in the high frequency region gain is this 0 0.01 right and you like to look at that for the magnitude plot right it's like a low pass right and maybe you like to check if that's unity dc gain property and here this is our k here we can see this is our k controllers say space representation of our controllers right and maybe you look at the sigma sorry yeah but yeah i would advise you to i would advise you to just design a controller and then check T do the some testing on you know simulating on the rear nonlinear dynamical system okay where is that all right here k dot a k dot b k dot c k dot d we just define that and in the initial condition zero right okay and then here u equivalent point is this is small u and u steady state and we have large signal u right okay and this is just a reference signal generation and this is just a you know disturbance signal injection okay and here this is the just give me x and u right and i will give you x dot right and we just hard coded a1 a2 a1 q1 q2 q3 parameters right and this is x dot here linear terms linear state terms second order state terms and input terms this is constant term and input terms right okay here this is x dot this is x dot and by integrating x dot we get x but as initial condition this is important you need to supply you need to state that x equilibrium right you need to use that point that you linearize the nonlinear dynamic system right and this is x and by subtracting um, steady state component of your state vector you get delta x and since there is a simple relationship linear relationship between output and states right you can just use that simple version okay and you have delta y small signal component of output and yeah this is what we have talk about let's run that okay there was some problem i guess i forgot to I forgot to run the controllers. We have K. K. Okay, continuing for 10 seconds. Okay, let's run that. Okay, this is our reference signal. Let me make it small. Come on okay just right a small impulse small disturbance right but this is two signals by the way right just okay so there are two signals maybe for the second signal i should yeah okay now you can look at the or you can visualize the you know two signals first reference signal as well right okay so and here this is the disturbance let's look at the output signals right we want it to be you know zero and this is our reference disturbance reference side disturbance right and this is our 
like sensor noise site disturbance and our controller is able to you know just stabilize the system and that's a good i think result that you like to have so we have also let me so that have also a good documentation right what we have talked about is all documented in this file just you can download it and this in word file so you can just you know have that you can just change that document as well right okay here it's like explained totally right yeah and as the simulink block diagram right included as well okay you can go and the script slx simulink file and this documentation from the github link down below okay in the description okay and that's it thanks for thanks for watching